Well, uh, it looks like uh, my friend's a little bit late. Hopefully they'll be stepping to their PC shortly, uh, but I like to start on time, so here I am. Uh, I am beginning to do the setup. I'll do as much as I can before they get here, uh, and maybe we can go through some things while that's going on. Uh, so with the experience that we got last round, uh, I spent three of it to upgrade to Streetwise here. As you can see, it's a permanent card, and it lets me spend my money in order to get book or feet, uh, which is really good for Jenny because she makes a bunch of extra money, and she can use her feet to do combat-related things or evading or even just make tests. So she'll enjoy that a lot, and plus being able to get books will make me versatile. I'll be able to help it as a clue getter as well. Uh, it's a permanent, so it begins in play instead of in my deck, so it's also really good as it makes me stronger without making extra cards uh, go into my deck. Um, so that's pretty neat. Alright, uh, so we're going to be doing the House Always Wins, which is the second scenario. Uh, I need to change the heading on Twitch chat. Uh, so I need to do that quickly, otherwise it's still going to be... Uh, the wrong thing. So yeah, it says Night of the Devour. It says the Devourer. So just give me a moment on that. I apologize. Want to make sure everyone knows what we're playing correctly. Um, but yeah, so this would be really enjoyable. Um, I hope everyone has a good time. Let's see. I believe it is over here. And then I can change the name. Perfect. So we are done with Night of the Zealot, and we are in the. Dunwich Legacy, and this is um, The House Always Wins. Except for today. Alright, perfect. Um, <clears throat> they've joined the game, so hopefully they'll be along on Discord shortly. Can you not hear me? Uh, I cannot hear you at all, and you're not going green. So you must be muted. I am going green in Discord. Um, while they're doing their audio stuff, uh, I will get into the scenario. Uh, so we can see here, we have some lore. Basically, we're trying to find Dr. Francis Morgan. Um, these are the sets that we're supposed to grab. These ones get set aside out of play. Uh, all that's taken care of us by the app. Uh, the boss is put into play. Uh, these other cards are set aside, shuffle the encounter deck, uh, and then this says here that at the beginning of the scenario, Agenda 1A will grant the criminal enemies the aloof keyword, which stops them from engaging you. At some point that may go away, so to pay attention to when aloof is no longer there, in case any monsters have to engage. Uh, we don't have to read any further, so we stop there. Uh, in order to advance, uh, we start here at La Bella Luna. Uh, there's two clues here. Um, and that's all we have for that. Uh, we need eight clues to advance, which is quite a lot. Um, it says here uh, we have a react ability that we can cheat by treating any chaos token as another one. Um, normally when you cheat in the game it's bad, uh, so something you should probably not do, but the options there if you want it, you could turn it into a critical success or anything else. Uh, objective, when we get the number of clues, we must immediately spend them in advance, so we can't wait like we have in the past. Once we have eight clues, we'll have to advance immediately. Over here on the agenda, the, key, the criminals are all granted aloof, and it says as a forced action, if any investigator deals damage to a criminal enemy, we must advance the agenda. So we shouldn't try to deal damage to criminal enemies until after that advances, uh, or we have to. Uh, so we're here, we can see that there's two Shroud on the location. Uh, did you fix your audio stuff? My stuff is working, it's on your end. Nope. Alright. Um, so I will be doing a bunch of the heavy lifting. Uh, they may have to be doing some typing. Um, uh, let's see if I made a mistake on OBS. Um, it has Discord, it's picking up my audio. Boom, 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 so boom, boom, I don't know boom, what's boom. going on. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, there's not much else I think I can do right now in the middle, so we're gonna have to just play through it the best we can. Uh, it's yeah, it's showing you coming up green in Discord, but it's not coming out in OBS. Um, hmm.
Let's do check do properties do. quickly. If this doesn't, it should just be Discord. This is what worked yesterday, and it worked just fine. I love technology. Uh, Discord <laughs> audio is at the top, so it shouldn't be a problem. I haven't done anything. I have the volume for Discord set to maximum. It's not muted. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be having to do some typing tonight. Uh, sorry about that, and we'll try to fix the audio after the stream. Um, we are ready to begin, so uh, we will just do mulligans. And it looks like they have either already started or finished theirs. All right. Uh, none of these are weapons, um, but I do want to keep this. So we will send four away to the discard pile. Um, hopefully we get a weapon. Nope, but we did get some good fighting cards, so certainly could be worse. We'll likely be spending our early turns looking for a weapon. All right. Um, did you want to go first? Okay. So we're going to play Peter, so that's going to be three no. money and an action. Uh, I'm f oh, we're mulliganing. Never mind. The joys of not having communication. Oh. All right. Uh, you can go first if you'd like. That's fine. Okay, I go... Oh, and I need to get back to chat. Okay, I have chat. Good. So that's will be a success. We're testing with Duke, so that's four to two. Uh, looks like we played Rabbit's Foot, so that's probably two actions. One, two. One to investigate, one to rabbit's foot. Oh, and there's a dark horse, so we're all done. So now it's our turn. Uh, like I said before, uh, we're likely going to be drawing some cards, trying to find a weapon, so we'll start there. That's not a weapon. We'll do that again. Uh, we'll promote them to a leader. Uh, so we've done two actions as drawing. Uh, just in case, I'd like to get down a lucky cigarette case uh, on the off chance that we pass a test by two or more to draw more cards during the mythos step if possible. Uh, we have some options here. Like I said, we have two cards that can help us fight, uh, plus cards that can help us pass the test to fight, uh, but ideally we'd really like to find a weapon. Uh, that was all three of our actions, so we're going to go to the upkeep phase, since it's the first turn and we skipped monsters. That's our surprise tool that can help us later. Uh, we are one of four on the agenda, uh, and this person is a hunter, so they'll come, they would have come up, actually. Uh, they don't engage because they're aloof, but the hunting still happens, so he'll come up here. Uh, if somebody gains clues, he will, uh, engage with you. So if we try to get the clue that's at La Bella Luna now, he will engage in attack. So, we have to be mindful of that. Alright, uh, let's go to the encounter deck. Let's shuffle that real quick just to make sure. And then go ahead. Uh, they are the lead investigator. Oh, no, I am the lead investigator. That's correct. Alright, uh, well, we found a mobster. Now, it's aloof, so it doesn't uh, engage with me. So we just leave it up here. Uh, I definitely shuffled twice, but uh, sometimes you get uh, the same cards. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, did you want to continue your turn? I'm assuming you're going to duke it on down. Yeah. Uh, so they use duke to head down into the lounge. Unfortunately, there's no uh, clues there. Uh, but you can discard an ally to get clues from the pool, if you have any. Alright, and we're going to the card room. So you can spend two money and then reveal a token. If you get a critical, or an elder sign, you get two clues and two resources. If you get any even number, you get two. Uh, zero does count as an even number. If it's an odd number or a symbol, nothing happens and you just lose your money. So, oh, all right. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna do uh, two clues from the pool, one and two on top of the two money, uh, and that I believe is three actions. We did Duke, we did Move, and we did Test. Uh, and then as a Fast, they're playing Magnifying Glass. 
Um, and now that they have one money, they lose all their stats. That's what's going on. Alrighty. Uh, so uh, we have a bunch of guys here. Luckily, none of them want to fight us, and we don't really want to get fought with, so we're not uh, interested in doing anything with them. Uh, luckily for us as well, um, this monster does hunt, so we don't want to bring him down just yet, unless we have to. But it's probably better to separate him from the mobsters, so we'll do that now. Uh, I'll move down as my first action. Uh, I have two actions remaining. I have a bunch of cards in my hand. Um, none of this is good. Um, but I want to find a weapon or a way to use my money that makes... I guess I can just come down. Yeah, I'll just come down. Uh, I will come to the card room and I will attempt the test. So I moved a second time and now I'm testing. It costs two money to do so. Uh, and plus one. So one is an odd number, so nothing happens. Uh, we then go to the monster phase. The pit boss moves. That's a hunter. Uh, and now we can do upkeep. Yay! We got a weapon! Alright, uh, looks like they did their upkeep, so we can go Doom on the Agenda, 2 of 4, and Encounter Cards. I'm the lead investigator, so I'll grab first. Anyone who has had a drink loses an action, so you probably get drinks at the bar. So we haven't done that, so we don't have to worry about losing an action. And we found another monster. It says when it's engaged with you, you can't get money. Well, that's not my friend at all. Uh, but again, it's, it's a criminal, so it's aloof. Okay, so, oh, that's not good at all. They take two horror. Okay. Uh, so it's now our turn. D do you want to go first, or do you want me to go? All right. I'm just going to dark horse it for you. Okay, so they f they did the test and then didn't get anything, and then they did two actions for money. Uh, so now it's going to be my turn, because that's all three of their actions. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is play our weapon, because that's important. We need to have a weapon, especially with all the monsters we found. And then I will click for money, and then I too will make a test. So we played our weapon, we got a, oh, got a money, and now we're going to test. Uh, I also have nothing happen. Luckily enough, it happened on this, so nothing extra happens. Uh, the pit boss will come on down. Uh, we'll go to the upkeep phase. All right. Uh, we'll put a third doom on the agenda, so we're about to go to four, uh, and I'll draw my encounter card. Rats. Okay, so that, well, those are not bad guys. Or they are bad guys, but they're not uh, criminals. Okay. We are having a party up in this game. Uh... Okay. <laughs> uh, did you want to go first, or do you want me to handle my rats? Okay, we're just testing. Let's go. Two is a positive number, so we'll get two more tokens. Or I said positive number, I'm sorry, I meant an even number. Uh, and that was the condition. So. Do you think that maybe you'll head up and get that clue off of uh, La Bella Luna now that the pit boss is... Oh, hold on. Uh, this guy would have attacked you if you take the test. Did you want to undo that test? Um, if you're trying to talk to me, I still can't hear you. I think I hear your voice. So you need to communicate a little better. This says gains clues. It doesn't say anything about investigating. Uh, so I'm okay with the notion of... I don't know what's happening now. You're saying that you would have played leather coat first? I, I, you're, you're doing things and clicking and it's not making any sense to me. So if it's engaged with you, how are you moving? I'm trying to understand. If you could please type. Like, I really can't. <sighs> Sorry for the technical difficulties, everybody. Okay. Okay, so we're saying we did the thing, we've only used one action, and we've been attacked. Would you like assistance in evading? 
No, we're not evading. If you deal any damage to him, uh, we must advance the agenda. I'm not saying not to, just making sure we know. So if we're... Okay. Well, you get to also ready Duke. Um, I don't know why he... Oh, you evaded. Oh, I would have helped, but okay. Um... All right. Um, so then we have five clues. Uh, so I am good to punch my rats, which is where I'll start. Uh, I am plus two. Uh, I I don't really I don't want to use the bullets, so I'm not going to yet. Uh, I do have this card in my hand, so the more bullets I use now, the less valuable it becomes. And plus two is a very likelihood uh, of a high chance of success. Uh, so, and getting plus one only adds uh, a small amount. So instead, I will just pull. And we are successful, so we kill it. So that was action one. Uh, action two, since uh, this would also engage with me if I was to stay here and get the clues, I will instead move up to the bar. Uh, this is still act one, so the option here is to gain to spend two money to gain two clues and draw two cards and have a drink. Um, Jenny looks like a rather sophisticated woman, so I could do that. But looking at my hand, um, there are some things that I don't want to like. I don't want to draw cards that I can't play. And uh, we already saw there's some negative repercussions for drawing extra cards. So instead, we're just going to get two money. Uh, so then we can go to the upkeep phase. Um, I have drawn this. I need to discard a card. Um, all of these are neat. I don't think I'm going to have enough money to use these effectively. But this is the least impact. Uh, yeah, it's going to be these. Uh, these are really good. They're my signature card. Um, but I just don't have... Hand like All of these cards are important for fighting. And in order to play them for any amount of ammo, I'd have to have a lot more money. I already have a gun out, so... Okay, uh, Doom on the agenda, uh, advance. So we reset and flip. Shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck. If we have done curricular activity, advance directly to agenda 2B. So we take this, put it in the discard pile, we take this and flip it. Uh, spawn a random enemy from the set aside hid hidden hideous abominations encounter set. Shuffle the rest of that encounter set and the set aside striking fear encounter set into the encounter deck. Move all investigators and unengaged enemies from Labella Luna to the club, and then remove Labella Luna from the game. So these people are going to come on down, and this is going to get removed from the game. Okay, um, that's that. And then uh, all of these guys lose aloof, so they're all going to engage Pete, because they're at there, um, and that's there. Um, at the end of the round, sorry, at the beginning of the enemy phase, discard every criminal in the same location as an abomination enemy. All right, uh, and then when you reveal a chaos token, we can still do the cheating thing if we wanted to. Uh, luckily, the Servant of the Lurker is a Abomination enemy, so the good news is that uh, it will discard both of the monsters for us without us having to deal with them. Um, and then uh, we can figure out what we want to do with the Pit Boss and the O'Bannon's Thugs afterwards, potentially, if that becomes a thing. Either way, uh, that's all of the agenda, so now we're on to the encounter deck. Uh, did we get all the cards in? We did not, so the Hideous Abominations go in and the Striking Fear Encounter set goes in. So we shuffle, 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 and then we do the Encounter deck. Rotting Remains, Brain 3. Okay, well, I don't have a bunch of extra brain, but I do have this Unexpected Courage, so we'll use that to be plus 2. Uh, that's a minus 2, so we, su we, we succeed. Uh, so that's uh, done. Uh, we did not pass by 2 or more, so we don't draw a card. Same test. Uh, they are plus 1. Plus one is horse. 
Yay, plus one, that's a success. All right, um, well then. Um, I could come over and deal with the Servant of the Lurker, but I think that that's probably better off for you to be doing. Uh, maybe you just evade it and have it uh, kill the mobsters for you, and then we can kill it next turn. I'm assuming that up and down mouse means yes. So I am then... Uh, why don't you go first then, and I'll decide if I have to help you afterwards. Okay, unexpected courage. That gets us up to five, because we have a money. And we succeed. So we know that that's that. I'm assuming we're going to duke to fight the servant. Yes, up and down mouse must mean yes. Uh, we are committing for fist. So Duke gives us a base of four, so it's going to be five, and we're testing five to four, so plus one, it looks like. No, just plus zero. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, we're going to retest at plus two. Plus three. Huzzah. And then Duke does an extra damage, so it's going to be two. So we put one marker on to signify the damage, and then just change it to a two. And then, uh, somehow we are activating Rabbit's Foot. Did we? Oh, we failed the first test. Yep, that works. Um, uh, we have one action left. Okay. Uh, so we're discarding Live and Learn to ready Duke. How is that a, as a, on Pete? There it is. Okay, so we're testing out even, so we fail. Mm -hmm. Alright, and that's all three of our actions. Alright, so now it's my turn. Uh, as we know, the two mobsters are going to go away. Uh, I am... If I stay here, the pit boss can come... Oh, he's going for the highest book. Oh, the highest book is me, so he will come to me. Um, I think it makes more sense for me to stay here than it does to go down there and get attacked by everybody because I can't deal with all three of them at once. Uh, I'd even struggle to deal with two of them. But at the same time, uh, that'll bottleneck us later. So they hit really hard, though. Um, all right, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go be luck be a lady tonight. All right, so we'll take all three of them on. Um, we will use our Mauser. Uh, so that's a base of three plus one is four. We're going to commit two Vicious Blows to be six. Um, and that'll be good enough. <laughs> I guess it won't. Uh, that's super bad. Uh, all right, well then we're going to overpower this one. Okay, and that'll be a success. We succeed by uh, even, which is fine. Uh, and we'll draw a card from overpower. Uh, that, oh, hold on. This is the Mauser. It doesn't ready. Uh, that's not how that works at all. Oh, no. All right, so that goes away. Uh, I would not have done this. Um, hmm. Let me pull this guy back. All right, so I'm on... Uh, my first two actions were move and fight. I failed the fight, so I don't get the bonus Mauser action. So instead, I think I need to evade, because that's the only way I can prevent myself from taking extra damage. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to evade the club pit boss. So I am testing even at 3 to 3. I'm going to commit nimble to be 4 to 3. Uh, and then I'm going to commit manual dexterity to be 6 to 3. And then I'm going to spend 2 money to be 9 to 3. Uh, so I'm going to super succeed, which is great. Oh, it's plus one for each resource. Yeah, sure. I succeed by a lot. Uh, I'm going to draw a card for manual dexterity. And then uh, I evaded the clip pit boss. And then I am allowed to move, because of nimble, up to three spaces. Now, I'm only going to move one, but I'm going to come up here. Uh, because I'm moving, I do take two attacks of opportunity. So I take four damage, which is not great, but I was going to take this damage anyway. 
And now uh, I'm done with my turn, so we go to the monster phase. And in the monster phase, uh, every criminal that's at the same location as an abomination gets destroyed or discarded. So you can see here, I'm at a location with the servants, and I brought the the thugs with me, so they will also get discarded, as will the mobsters that um, Pete has. Uh, so then we go to, yeah, I will take the servant, and we will go to upkeep. Okay. Uh, he wakes up, as I've been already done. We'll put a Doom on the agenda, one of seven, and uh, encounter card. I'll take an encounter card, and I've got rats. Okay, you can't play actions or events. Uh, would you like to go first, or...? Yes, okay. Um... We are discarding a card to... Oh, discarding an ally to get two clues from the token pool. Uh, this is limited to once per game, uh, but that is per person. So the way that I like to signify this is I will clone the Ashcan Pete icon. Oop, sorry. Uh, and just mark it face down here to show that we've used this ability on Ashcan Pete. Uh, looks like Pete's interested in some whiskey. Uh, so they're going to spend this one, uh, so we'll mark that Pete has done that. Uh, and that gets us to nine clues. Uh, we must immediately spend eight of them to advance. And since all of them are on Pete, I'll let them take uh, either one off or eight, however they want to show that. Uh, we're going to put the set-aside Darkened Hall into play. Um, if it is Agenda 1 discard cards, but it is not, so we don't have to worry about that, so move along, and then this says find the VIP area and spend four clues there. Okay, uh, so they did um, click, move, click, it looks like, so it's my turn. Uh, I have a bunch of things to do, so the f uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, punch my rats with my gun. Um... This guy hits real hard. All right, let's commit overpower and attack this guy. So we're uh, we're gonna use the gun. So we're seven to uh, four. We succeed. We're gonna choose to ready the gun. Uh, we're gonna draw a card from overpower and do two more damage. So he goes up to four. Uh, apparently all the bullets fell off, but that's fine. Uh, I should have probably kept my signature card and gotten rid of this. The lessons we learn as we play. Um, so now I'm just going to use the weapon again. I don't have the overpower, so I'm plus one. Uh, okay, that's a success. And we, oh, and we, we succeeded by two before, so we're going to draw from our lucky cigarette case. Uh, and then that's enough to kill him. And he's got victory, so instead of going to the discard pile, we'll slide him on over. Uh, so that's two actions, and then I succeeded by two or more, so I get the choice of readying the Mauser or taking a money. Based on the rats in the current situation, I'm going to take the money, uh, and then I'm going to punch my rats. So I do that, and I am successful. Uh, so the rats go away as well. So that's three actions for me, uh, and now it's Pete's turn. Uh, am I taking that, or are you? Uh, I am four from death, you are also four, so I will take it, that's fine. Uh, so he's going to hunt his way up to me. There's no longer uh, any uh, abominations or whatever, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I get an attack of opportunity after he moves in, so I take two. And uh, we can do upkeep now. Uh, doom on the agenda, two of seven. And, ooh... Uh, that's my encounter card, thank you. Uh, I will commit Guts to this test, so I am plus two. Uh, and it's horror if I fail, so that's kind of fine. Alright, so I fail by two, so I just take two horror. And I don't get to draw a card. Uh, they have to reveal a token, they got that, so they take two horror. Alright, uh, well, it looks like I've got things to do, so I will start by um, exhausting my pistol and shooting the pit boss, uh, so I'm plus two on that. Um, yeah, so we'll just test it plus two. Uh, we succeed, so that'll be two damage. Uh, and then I'm going to play a nifty card called Backstab. 
So the way backstab works is that you use your feet instead of your fist, and it does an extra two damage. So I'm testing three to three, which would be even, but conveniently for me, I have all this money, so I'll spend four of it to buy six feet. So instead of being even, I'll be plus six. Uh, I will succeed, and then I will discard him. He also has victory, so he'll hit it on over here. Uh, and so that's action. One was the Mauser, one was the backstab. Uh, and then, how much shroud is it locate? No, uh, I could possibly pass that. Um, so in, oh, I, I succeeded that test by a lot, so I can use my lucky cigarette case. Uh, I will claim additional resources uh, and pass the turn. So Pete moves down, heads on into the darkened hall, so that's with two actions. Now that we're here, we need to get the three back alleyways. Uh, eventually we'll find them. There we go. Uh, so shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh, one, two, and three. Uh, so I believe Pete just did move, move, and they forgot to... Yeah, they didn't reset. So they can use Duke to go into one of them, and we found the back alley, so there's a way to get out there, so that's cool. And they get to investigate at plus five, so they're very likely to succeed. So that's all three of their actions, and we can uh, go to the upkeep phase because there's no more monsters. Um, no, I forgot these ready, but that's okay. Uh, three out of seven. Uh, so then encounter card. Uh, place a doom on every criminal enemy. If no doom is placed, lose two money. Well, could be worse. Uh, they get minus one to all of their skill tests until they fail. Oh, sorry. Uh, until they succeed by one or more. Never mind. Uh, they are somehow have lost the money they got during the upkeep. I'm missing that. Oh, you can choose not to. Never mind. Uh, Alright, so did you want to go first? or? Alright, it uh, looks like they were investigating and used Duke. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so they're going to... They put, yep. They're discarding a card to ready Duke, I think, or... Yeah. Uh, and then they've moved, and then they're going to use Duke again. Uh, which I believe is the third action. They have found the VIP area! Congratulations! Yay! While there, you will not gain resources or draw cards. We're going to use deduction here. Uh, so we're testing at four, five, six, seven, to two, to three, so plus four. Unfortunately, the Red Squid of Doom says hello. Uh, luckily, we do get a rabbit's foot off of that if we want it. Um, that's only during oh. the upkeep phase. You can do that now. Yeah. Alright, looks like all of their actions are done. Uh, so it's our turn. Uh, we're pretty low on bullets, so we're going to play another weapon. We'll play our Derringer. Uh, that's action one. And then actions two and three will be to get more money. Uh, we'll go to the upkeep phase. Uh, I drew a weakness. Uh, I get minus one to all of my skills. Inconvenient. Uh, looks like they're okay, so we're going to move along. Uh, four of seven, doom on the agenda. Uh, encounter card. I cannot do moving, fighting, or evading without spending extra actions. Okay. Uh, there are no un unengaged in play, so this gains surge. So basically just discard it and get another card. Oh, that looks familiar. All right, well, my turn's not going to be very complicated. I'll spend two of it to get rid of this, one of this to get a money, and then I will test uh, my brain onto this at plus one. Ah, eh, no, you know what? I won't. It's not going to pass. Uh, and instead of getting a money... No, yeah, I'll take the money. Uh, but for the test, uh, what I'll do is I will take heart that I'll fail it. Uh, and... Uh, conveniently, I pass. LOL. Alright, game. No problem. Uh, so, go ahead. Seven plus four. Uh, so, just investigating. Using Duke. Got one. 
We currently have four, so we can advance, or we are advancing apparently. Uh, we have completed extracurricular activity, so we're going to put Peter aside in the bar over there. Um, and then search for a abomination enemy and put it in the bar as well. Um, unfortunately for us, I believe that there's only these guys that are left, so we'll have to get them. Um, okay, and then we have to advance to 3A. Uh, so this is stuff about Dr. Morgan. Oh, so this is the wrong one, so we need to be this one. Yeah. While Peter is not controlled, we can test Brain to get him to follow us. If we succeed, put a clue on him. If we get two clues on him, take him. If each undefeated investigator resigns, advance. So we could try to get Peter. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. All right. Uh, so luckily for us, Peter uh, is not an enemy. Um, and let me see, does this destroy criminal enemies? So Peter's not going to die, luckily, because uh, he's an asset. He's an ally. Um, but that was so. That was action one and just one was investigate, I think, and then we advanced. Mm -hmm. So we still have more actions remaining. Okay. Uh, we're going to be committing. Look what I found potentially. We are thinking about it. Okay, we are plus two. Sorry, plus four, because of the magnifying glasses. Uh, and that'll be a pass. Um, I could probably use your help, unless you want to go down and try to check what this is. Because uh, passing a brain test is going to be hard. I don't have a lot of brain cards. Uh, so then you did move, move, so you're done, right? Here, let me turn these sideways. Uh, up and down mouse is yes. So that means I'll go. Uh, I'll step in here, which will join me with my new friend. Um, uh, I will shoot with my Derringer. I will fail with my Derringer. I will sh uh, shoot again. I am successful the second time. Uh, I will deal two damage to it because I have succeeded by two or more. Uh, and I succeeded by two or more, so I can use my lucky cigarette case to draw a card. Uh, this would have been cool for investigating, but it never came up. Uh, so now uh, we are in the upkeep. Oh, sorry, monster phase. I get attacked for one and one. So I die next turn, so I have to just make sure to not do that. Uh, upkeep. All right, uh, Doom on the agenda, 5 of 7. Bad thing for me. Uh, pull a thing. Skull is too horror. Put the test away so they can pull their card. And they have worse luck. All right, uh, so we're going to shoot this uh, conglomeration. We succeed. We're going to use Lucky Cigarette Case to draw a card. Uh, cards that would have been helpful. Uh, we're going to use our Mauser. Uh, the Mauser hits for, so what are we, five? Or sorry, we are three. Oh wow, we're pretty low. We, we, we did pass by enough. All right, let's, uh, let's commit Unexpected Courage to be plus two. And do these have fists? Of course not. That would be helpful. All right, uh, so that's uh, three, four, five to one, so plus four. So that's pretty good. Yeah, we succeed. All right, so we kill that. So that's two actions, and I want to stay here to help. Um, so what we're going to do is play Lonnie Ritter, um, and then Lonnie Ritter says choose an item asset controlled by an investigator, heal one damage from that asset and one from Lonnie, but nobody has damage at mine, so I don't believe I can use her. So uh, I am finished. Uh, why does Pete have, or why does Pete have a, horror, a damage on him? At the enemy phase, if no one controls Peter, deal one damage to him. That's a good reason. Okay. Uh, so if you're going to make a brain test, go ahead. I can give you plus one if you'd like some assistance. Uh, so that's plus two, so that's seven, so I believe that's plus four. Cool, so let me put a clue token from the encounter, right? Or it's up here. Uh, put one clue from the bank on him. If there are two on him, take control. Okay, uh, I'll give you another one. You're committing guts. You've succeeded, so now you take control of Pete. 
Uh, Pete does not take up an ally slot. Uh, and I, I think we can just take the two clues off of him. It shouldn't matter. Okay, uh, so that's your... You moved and then did two tests, right? So I think you're finished. So then we are in uh, upkeep. Okay, uh, doom on the agenda, six of seven. Okay. Uh, encounter card, rats. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that we have played ourselves into a spot that we can't click out because it's one, two, three, and a click. So we are just going to have bad things happen. Uh, I am going to play slip away to evade uh, one, two. Uh, so I'm adding my feet to my book, so I'm evading at four. I'm going to commit quick thinking to be five. So I'm plus two on this test. I'll commit manual dexterity to be plus four. Uh, I only succeeded by one, so I don't get the extra action. Uh, and I evade my rat. I was trying to make this be a net zero. Um, but that's one action, and then I could just do two and end up here. But we're going to run out of agenda deck before that happens. So instead of moving... I'm going to stay here, and I'm going to play uh, Delve Too Deep, uh, because we can't do anything else. So I will draw a card, it'll be another rat, so you can grab yours. That's fine, I hope. Yeah, plus one is fine, nothing happens, good. Uh, that'll get us an extra XP. And uh, uh, I have one action remaining, uh, I'll punch the rats, I'm plus one. I fail. Go ahead. Oh no, I'm sorry, I have Lonnie Ritter. I do succeed. Uh, there you go. Oh, and I clicked off my weakness. I actually had more, but that never mattered, so we're okay. Did you manage to get out, or did you just get there? No, we did not get out. Okay. Uh, so then we put 7 on, we flip it over, and we have to do R4 instead, unfortunately. Uh, I have never had that happen before, so we're going to find out some new information. Resolution 4. Uh, in your campaign log, oh man, the O'Bannon gang has a bone to pick to us. All the time we spent getting Peter didn't matter. Uh, and Dr. Francis Morgan was kidnapped. Nobody cheated, so we don't have to put the token in. Uh, we're going to take one physical trauma for not getting out. Uh, we are going to be unconscious for several hours, which is probably going to hurt us in the future. Uh, and we're going to get the display plus one bonus XP. And then we're going to do the uh, Armitage's fate. So the display is five, so we're actually going to get six XP. And then we're going to go check out Armitage's fate. Um, if we were unconscious, read Armitage's fate one. So in your campaign log, he's going to get kidnapped as well, and we're going to get two bonus XP. Okay, well, it could be worse. And then we're going to head over to the museum. Uh, so uh, we get eight total experience. Uh, and Dr. Francis Morgan and uh, Dr. Henry Armistad were kidnapped, as you can see as noted. Um, and we were unconscious for several hours, uh, but that's fine. Um... And that's it for today. Sorry again for the technical difficulties. We made it through as best we could, uh, and hopefully we'll have it organized and sorted out by tomorrow. Thanks, everyone, for your time, and have a good night.